preach. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This is another Sunday. Now let me ask you this. I bump into this this morning. And it says confidence is acknowledging that which God has graciously made you become through Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Yes. 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 And it says, pride is living your life through deeds. Actions, yeah, I guess it's what And your own voice as if there's no heavenly government above you. The moment you reach this point, the balance it is. The moment you reach this point, forget. Dot dot Because even the devil will not need to entice you. Or even attack you because you have voluntarily handed yourself over to him. Confidence is acknowledging that which God has graciously made you become through Christ Jesus. Pride is living your life through deeds, actions, and your own voice as if there's no heavenly government above you. Amen. The moment you reach this point, now, forget the because even the devil will not need to entice you or even attack you because hand. you have voluntarily handed yourself over to Can I pose a question to the church? Today? Let me put in a familiar language. Who excites you in your life? Because if I could have said, um, who, who is your role model? Na, kimang role model ya. Haka sevisa dunzulo, we we filter a lot of things. Re, re sefan to zenga ata. But when ki bua kasa soto se lo kire, kimang ata. Empa, as I put it that way, who excites you? Your 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 mind, your 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 emotions. Mo hupo lo wa how my kuto a how. Get excited to to start to check. Ah, o tabela o she, o batla o batla o she. Kimang, kimang, think about that. Who is it? Kimang, kimang, o maga. I influence on life here, how come? Who influences your life? Come on, don't tell me, okay, Jesus. Don't tell me about Holy Spirit. Who is influencing your life? Who influences your life? Come on, come on. And this person or persons who influences your life so much. At the end of the day, whatever you do, do you do what you want or do you do what other people want you to do? As we go on in this series, hold that question with you all the time. When we we, we started um, around September, September, we spoke on the theme called Cultivating Growth. Yeah, yes, yes. Cultivating Growth. You remember um, all the principles of reaching a stage where it's from planting and to harvesting. Something, you have to write this If you are not used to taking notes, bring something. So that the answer, who is influencing your life? And who are you in the house of the Lord? In this part of the sermon, when you come back, you need to ask somebody. 
What is it that I missed? Oh, in, in, go okay, to YouTube. Oshebe, Kapo, oh, yeah, oh, YouTube Oshebe, now, wait, so, wait, because wait. we don't just bring this thing and preach to you because it's Sunday. No, oh, there's a reason. There's oh, somewhere oh, where shining light is going. Oh, and therefore, we said cultivating growth. Oh, and we said all for God's glory. In the previous month, we said all for God's glory. Not some. And every time when a series ends, Nomsa, you must ask yourself, did I began to cultivate something Do here. I take all into God's glory? Now this week we start a new series. We say my hand is up. We say my hand is up. Now we are building. And next week we will be saying, strengthen my hand, O Lord. And on the 20th, we'll be saying all hands on the deck. All hands on the deck. On the 27th. On the 27th. Oh, Lona by a higher month end this year, we're gonna miss out. You who usually goes home on month end, let Allah say like it's about it. The hand dot dot a silent voice. Let's all go, 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 let's see, let's go. Till it's all her impa, it's a hand, but let's go. It's a silent voice. Strengthen my hand, all hands on the deck, and the hand a silent voice. So sing Now today I say we lift up our hands. Paul says we need to present our bodies as the living sacrifice. That is acceptable to the Lord. Now, our bodies have got different various parts that can serve to bring the glory or shame unto God. Our bodies, our parts, as the part of the body of Christ, we can either honor God or dishonor Him. Now, let's all at your hand. Your hand is so powerful. It's got the power to grab something very tight. Not only that, but powerful so. And your hand again, the very hand has got the power to handle something very gentle. And that same hand is has got the power to take and not just take, but to manipulate whatever you are having in your hand. Or direct it to where you want to use or put it. That's what your hand can do. Hold tight or even destroy. The symbols that we get in the Bible about the hand. The Bible teaches us there are symbols that we find in That our hands can show some form of deeds or certain actions. Let's read first John chapter 3, verse 17 to 18. You can put up English, please. 
anyone has material possessions mm -hmm. and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person? Mm. Dear children, let us not love with words or Yo. speech, but with actions and in truth. Can you repeat uh. from let us? Let, dear, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. If anyone has material possessions and sees a brother or sister in need but has no pity on them, how can the love of God be in that person's heart? Let, dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and in truth. Dear children, now Jacob changes the way addressing Batuba. Now he changes the way. In a sense, he's expressing God's love to them. Dear children, let us not love with words or speech, but with actions and truth. Our love for how can when I have possessions? Seeing the fellow brother or sister in need. How can God's love be in me and I ignore that? Now understand me very well. I'm not talking about manipulation here. Or taking chances. Or an opportunistic spirit. But I'm talking a real need that moyo halalelang our leader robot. Empa kibua katho ko ya need that the Holy Spirit lead you to see. For whatever that you put a hand on, led by the Spirit of God. Hobane inka pa ing e obian letwa la ka huyona o etelwa kimo ya omudi. There will be results that can be seen without you making noise about it. I've spoken for Anna and Philemon as I was raising them. Don't buy any blanket or glasses. But you know, when the Spirit of the Lord is to do that, you do it. I'm not above the Spirit of the Lord. But how can we say the love of God is in you? While you ignore a need that we can see. Because James 2, verse 14. James 2, What is the benefit, my fellow believers? If someone claims to have faith but no good works as evidence, can that kind of faith save him? So what good is it? If a man claims to have faith but no deeds, imagine going around and saying, I have this faith in me. Having a, a, a backpack with 10 visions or versions of the Bible. USB full of all type of gospel. USB listening to audio Bible all the time and say I have faith in now and that kind of a faith, faith doesn't show any form of evidence 
Nothing proves you have a faith. What I love that is so powerful is this. That when you say you have faith, do you believe? In your belief, there has to be an evidence. Yeah, I can say that I have faith, yet my works has no evidence. For Mansui Kabuana ha enough. Because utterance alone is not enough. But deeds matter most. Empathy gets what you saw. And now what I have observed, like I said in last week, that we who call ourselves the Christians, we are the most lazy people that can serve the Lord. Because we wanted to, to, to subtract the preparation with prayer. After prayer, there must be preparation. And preparation is not words. But it's an action it is doing. And therefore, I raised my hand to do something. So words only... It's not enough. And I realize that we are so good with that as Christians. We are so good in words. But not doing with our hands. Those hands that are so powerful to, to grab anything. And Jacob James says our faith Useless. It's useless. Imagine you can see one of your brothers naked hungry, without cold. clothes. Then you just say to that person, keep warm and eat well. What good is in that? Dress properly. Eat healthy. Bazalwani, it pains me. Beloved, in Kutusabu. To know very well as I'm standing here preaching. That there is someone who's gonna go out of that door. Who's not gonna eat anything? Up until somebody gives him or her something. And the sad part, he or she is given by somebody in the well. Can God open our eyes and see now and begin to do with our hands? A faith that is only where it is dead. Not only that, it is useless. How can I say, go and eat well? Keep warm. Whereas I can see with my eyes, there's a need. It is completely useless. Oh, Here's a sad thing. Such faith puts you in the equilibrium with Satan. You is a tikanyeton, the sata. You bear in the same scale in the sata. It puts you in the equilibrium point with the devil. For he is not the king of kings, but is the prince of this order. He is the prince of laughter, laughing with others. He enjoys being above others. Can I shock you? Even the demons, too, they believe there is God. Demons. They do believe that there is God. If there is God, when you say that you think you are shaking heaven and you are shaking the demons, you are just playing. For the demons know that there is God. 
Satan was about Jesus, died and rose. Satan was about who do the on the right and therefore, King Okayeta commands that shall you do with your words. It's a little bit of a will make you better than him. But one thing that devil and he excels on, yeah, we he does it so good that he doesn't love the Lord Jesus. And we have the opportunity to love the Lord Jesus. And you have an opportunity to receive him into your life. For he seeks only to serve himself. Of the devil are not spread wide about a close. But as we come to our Jesus, we say you are holy, you are holy. Look, look, look here, let me tell you this. You use this moment every time when uh, the worship or MC are uh, let's say hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. He helps you that some of the things may fall off. They might not be under your armpit, but they have the armpit of your heart or your spirit. For hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah is the highest praise. And hallelujah, it's not just verbal, it is an action. I can't say hallelujah like this, but hallelujah, hallelujah forces me to raise my hands. And when I do this, there is above me, Lord. Remember what I read when I started here, thinking that my voice is above heavenly voice. That's what Pride it is. But humility says there is Jesus in my life. Therefore, I lift my hands. I'll raise up my hands. Why? Because there is no Christ who is not a savior. Not only that, he has to be Lord in my life. When Jesus is the Savior, he reigns over my life. What do I mean, my lady, by this? If Jesus is Lord, if he died for my sins, let him be Lord over. Yeah, because if I am in Nassau, when if he's standing with me, you know, we are almost equal with her. And I start to look down more. But when we can take an attitude, that you are Lord. That Omorena. May he reign over everything of man. Let the praise his holy name. And therefore I raise my hand that he uses.
Lord, do you know what you are saying, Maga? When you say you raise your hand, now what's about ring? How did you pay me? Oh, I sense the presence of God in a special way. You know, when you raise your hand and say, I raise my hand. Not because I can raise it. But Lord, I want to avail myself before you. In short, you say, I am available and a living sacrifice before you, Lord. You know, when you, you go to, the, to, the, to your phone, Android phone, and you want to go to Bluetooth, uh, there's an there's a option that says discoverable. There is no way I can send you something without pressing that. But for me to be able to connect with you, I must say I am discoverable. In the prayer meetings, I am discoverable. In every meeting in the house of the Lord, I am discoverable. did not come to be served he came to serve son of man came to serve oh, oh, my God. God. may your hands today Daniel mouth may your hands more than your mouth find themselves doing something for the Lord for I raise my hand, Lord, this Let your hands found to be doing something for God. Nothing fancy, nothing looking good. But my hand doing God's will. Let my hand differ with what is in my head. When my mind say go left, let my hand be directed to the Lord or to the right. Let my hand find itself doing, not doing on its own, but through the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Christians, a good tree bears good fruits. But the good hand lists here the mark of the fingerprint. Leaves the fingerprint mark. Now here is a catch in this. You can hide and do whatever. But if your hands are busy, we take this bottle and we apply the solution of finding the fingerprint. So many fingerprints are in this bottle right now. But the fingerprints in this bottle are of lady. Imagine now the fingerprints that are inspired by the power of the Holy Spirit. When I remove my hand, it doesn't matter anymore. What matters more is the print that is there. What is the evidence? For a good tree, there is good fruit. But a good hand will always leave. And right print. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you. Hands 
they leave a testimony of the prince and my prayer this morning don't be like Thomas please. when you read John 20 verse 25 he said unless I see the prince of the names in his hands I will not believe unless I see the evidence of the nails in his hands. I will never believe. I will never believe. I will not believe what Thomas was saying to Jesus. Is what they were is proclaiming about the church. Yes. You believe that what you say you are. When you say you are shining light, you want to see light the mark of shining light on shining light, you. Shining light is not just but the name. Where are the fingerprints? We will not believe up until we see the prince. In fact, in fact, what, what, what is it that I say? I don't want you to be like uh, Thomas. Because it's like you are saying, I won't do anything. You have this filter that you use before you do something. You look who says what, then you do it. That is why I say I cry that you understand when you come to this place. I cry that you understand when you come to this place. You need to be in this place and take a blessing. You don't want to be in this place and take the wrath of God. Not even cares. But the Breath of the Lord. Jesus. And now, as a good tree, bless. And the good hands has got a unique sign. I challenge you this morning. I challenge you. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. Say, Lord, raise my faith. It is not pastors that are challenging you. It is not church council that is challenging me. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I challenge you in the name of Jesus. I challenge you as your spiritual leader. And the danger in me sending a challenging word to you you need to be very honest with yourself. you understand what is a spiritual leader in you. It is not a church council challenge, it is me. As a church council challenge, can I want your hand. I want to say it clearly. When we start to read the word, the word of God says, how can I say I have faith? I speak in the spirit. 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 I speak in the And I'd say the truth of the Lord is in me. You see the blessing I'm doing. of God. You cannot manipulate it. Up until you come down. And you serve. I want to next week. I'm, I'm, going, I'm challenging you for next week now. Next week again, it is me if you don't want to be me. It is me preaching again. I'm going to challenge you again next week. 
When we do offering next year, listen, what is it? Already happening. your mind is on the money. Just because I talk of offering. No, I'm not talking money. Let your hand this week find itself. Without the wheel. And when you look inside your cupboard, how shabatahara kabeja? Take what you like when Nkase when Osarada and bring it in the house of the Lord. If you don't eat in fish, how sad in fish is Gabo at Lisa. Does this sugar beans again? Like when I did sugar beans in our tea again, bring it because you love it. If you bring what you love, I know you'll bring double. You won't bring one. Don't forget even your offering. But I want you to challenge your hand, not your mind. Did you hear what the, what she said when she was thinking of offering? Don't think about tomorrow. When you begin about tomorrow, think about tomorrow. You say you cannot do best. Or listen to What I'm challenging to you to do next week has got nothing to do with a blessing. It's got everything to do with obedience. We're gonna put two boxes here. The my box and my And we're gonna bring our offering to our time of offering. And I'll be sitting here and I'll be looking. 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 And I'll be I raise my hand. Who's raising his hand? I raise my hand. I raise my hand. Because I'm happy. I, I, I know you think that you are sad. You know. You know how stupid it is to hear somebody say, raise your hand. Can we be stupid for a moment? I raise my hand. Because I'm happy. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. I raise my hand. But for you to be in a position to sit with Jesus, bring this chair here. In order for you to work with Jesus, yeah. the Bible says, as he teaches uh, his disciples. He's mainly seated as a teacher. But there is something very important. For you to be like him. There's a position you need to take. For he took it. My Bible says, the washing feet of his disciples. After washing their feet, the Bible says he reclined into his position. Now, can you kneel down and kneel down and just stand up again without using your hand? Come 
Mangas has a good deal of that. Who impacts your life? Who influences you? I hear the Holy Spirit doing something in my business. Then send me more. Remove us from where we think Ask we are better. Take us out from that space. How better in next morning? If there's nothing better about where you are that God may use. Where I am, Mogili. It is not yet where the Lord wants me to live. What God is about to do with my life has to surprise my spirit. What is it that God wants to do here? What is it that God has given me? Do you use it for God? Now we say to sit in a reclining position. It is in the kneeling position. That you can start there. Thank you, Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Spirit of the living God. Teach us to kneel down, Lord. Teach us to use our hands. So we may recline in a good position. 